Welcome back to Banjo Tooie, the, gr <laughs> the great backtracking debacle, part two. I know what rating you're giving this level. So here we are at Pterodactyl Land. We're going to try and finish up what we have left here, and uh, in talking about the world rankings, uh, you know my uh, my levels from most favorite to least favorite, uh, a scale of one to eight. Uh, if you haven't heard it so far, uh, Witchy World is number two, Glitter Gulch Mines is number six, and Jolly Roger Lagoon is number seven. Where do you think Pterodactyl Land is? A big numero uno! A big number eight for the worst fucking level! Yeah, okay, it doesn't have the kind of, uh, you know, s underwater segment that Jolly Rogers had, but it is impossible to maneuver around this world. I have no idea. It's all the same. There's not much of a theme except there's dinosaurs here and there. It's just a big canyon! And now there's even more dinosaurs because we brought one home. Yeah, we did. We, we did bring one home, and that's a good thing. A lot of the the jiggies and things you have to do here annoy me because it's the most busy work. Like here, this this is just part two of a thing we had to do. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, because the the what, what was it? A dad triceratops is yeah, yeah. for all his kids. Yeah, the Stryrachosaurus. Family cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, took care of the first kid, and the and when, when we were here, we just had Mumbo come in to to take care of that. But now, there's one more thing we got to do for that third kid, and we'll we'll get to that. But uh, t dinosaur family, two out of three. Okay, not bad. Let's move on. We just we have so much left to do here. So it's, I would like to you know, kind of add on to your to your hating of this level. Go on. Because I realize that I really don't like the themes of the levels in Banjo Tooie compared to the first one. Yeah, I know everybody you know, scoffs at the staples of you know, hey, oh, we got an ice land, oh, we got a fire land, but those I, I, are. I like some of them. I liked Hailfire Peaks with its fire and ice thing. Well, you know, that, that's the thing. That's still fire and ice. It's still interesting. Mayhem Temple was pretty okay. You know, Witchy World was cool. You know, it's a carnival level. Like, oh, a akin to Mad Monster Mansion, I'd say. Honestly, I think that Grunty Industries is my least favorite, just because I hate factory levels. Mm. And then Terry Dactylian, you got dinosaurs, and there's your theme. At least with Jolly Roger Lagoon, I've got other places to go, but, and I also like water levels because I'm one of those weird idiots. Well, let me just, uh, l l let's just drop all pretense and I'll just give you my, t my, uh, eight. Number eight is Pterodactyl Land, uh, yeah. obviously, because I hate it so much. Number seven is Jolly Rogers Lagoon, mm -hmm. with, with just the above water parts saving it. Mm -hmm. Number six is Glitter Gulch Mines, because it's impossible to yeah, maneuver. Also that one, it's just so boring. Yeah, it's, it, there's... I hate that theme. And number five is, uh, Grunty Industries. <laughs> So the worst levels take the bottom four spots. Got it. <laughs> Number four would be Mayahem Temple. Okay, yeah, like, that, one, that one was okay. Good start out, but felt felt a little basic though. But mm -hmm. yeah, I liked it though. Uh, Number three is Hellfire Peaks. Okay. Number two is Witchy World, because if it's uh, easy easy to maneuver. And uh, number one is Cloud Cuckoo Land. Hey, imagine that. Well, ah, okay, because I said it. <laughs> you just lit that guy on fire. So this these guys are hungry and cold. Yeah, we didn't. We never saw these guys, did we? No, we didn't, because we need to be a big T Rex to scare that guy out of the way. Oh right. Okay. So there are three members here. They are all cold, and they are all hungry, and they all need food, and they all need warmth. There are also uh, eggs here. Great. That we need to turn into Kazooie and lay on and hatch. Uh, question for you. Answer for you. How do we light that fire without dragging Kazooie? Fire eggs. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm glad you can actually use, uh, Dragon Kazooie. Otherwise, that would be silly. So yeah, there's, there's four eggs here. You gotta go as Kazooie to each of them and hatch them. And they'll fly back up to Terry Dak. T Terry, I suppose. To Mr. Terry Dactyl, attorney at law. Uh, and attorney is spelled A-P-T-O-R-N-E-Y. <laughs> <laughs> the attorney. Attorney at law. Put the attorney. Oh, we're gonna watch this. The okay, cool. Yeah, just the whole way. Uh -huh. 
where are we gonna get them food? Are we gonna get them one of those, like, big meat-on-a-bone kind of deals? No way. We're gonna get in some disgusting burgers and fries. No! Really? Yeah, really. Okay! Okay! I keep forgetting that all these worlds are intertwined with one another. It's it's the uh, early 2000s method of open world. Not so much a big sprawling open world, but interconnected levels. So, do you think calling your game open world is just a more interesting way of saying no loading zones? I suppose so, because I remember that was a big thing too. When uh, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, I think? I think so. What would essentially be Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the game 5. Yeah. Because it came after 4. It was like, check it out, no loading screens, it's all interconnected, and I, I never played it. Actually, I, I remember um, GTA 4 coming out, and one of the big selling points was being able to walk out of like a burger joint and there's no loading screen. Yeah, right. And for some reason that was huge. It was. And now I'm thinking about different open world games and whether they do in fact have loading zones. Uh, do you know how Breath of the Wild gets around its loading zone? It probably has like a, a big cone that it's that it loads and every time you move it kind of just loads this and that so breath of the wild loads a lot of things and if it ever loads too much it creates a blood moon oh, which okay. undoes everything except for where you are and a few enemies that's why it's so random as to when you get blood moons it's because you are loading so much into the game that it has to find a way to go stop Blood Moon it. Okay, we're back. That's brilliant. It is brilliant. That's, that's that's so ingenious. The Switch has found so many back doors to programming and how to, you know, kind of mask loading. Like uh, Mario Odyssey, how whenever you're not facing something, it has deloaded behind Mario to save on memory. Limitations are the best method of creativity, I find. Because we get PS5, we can literally do anything, and now all we have is just basically 20-minute tech demos or <laughs> games that haven't quite reached that, you know, their full potential. But on the Switch, because you have less, you know, graphics to use and less power, you gotta find ways to get around that. And you won't believe what people have done. How the fuck did they put all of Witcher 3 on a Switch cart? I don't know! But they did it! It's, they did it! It's so interesting! And yet, there are still some companies who kind of can't figure out how to do it. Like, this is why uh, a lot of Capcom games have, you know, you have one of the games on a cartridge, but the second one has to be downloaded separately. They did fine with Rise, I think. Monster Hunter Rise. Well, Monster Hunter Rise, yeah, that was built for Switch. I'm talking, like, the re-releases, like the Mega Man X collections and the Resident Evil collections and all that. So apparently I have food for him. I don't know how I grabbed more than one. Maybe I did it when I was at Witchy World. But something happened. Me all happy now. I accidentally stopped recording. What? Here, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling my eyes thinking, oh, I gotta go back to Witchy World and get, and get more no, fucking food and all no, that. You... So, so I stopped recording no. saying, okay, I'll just go ahead and get some food. <laughs> and you never turned it back on. And then I kept playing the game and realized, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it, 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 didn't, it didn't skip a whole lot, just, you know, getting this jiggy in particular, really. Okay. So but, but, just know we got the jiggy for this. And, and, and like a couple eggs, I think. Okay. But you, you get the idea, light, light the torches, warm them up, then feed them. And then you do all three of them. There's there's another guy up, uh, up top back there. In a top section. Oh, there's a yeah, back, uh, yeah. grabbing wall up there. Yeah, back there. Okay. I'm waiting for the cut. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Oh, oh you'll know. It, it is not subtle at all. <laughs> I, had, I had to borrow somebody else's footage to do, to do a couple things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry! Of course, I, I did this like basically all in a blitz, too. Ah, blitzing can be so much fun. Like, by the time I did this, I think the day before, I finished up Cloud Cuckoo Land. Oh, wow. Oh, here's the third dude? Yeah, third dude's back here. 
He needs warmed up, he needs food. So I'm thinking, oh crap, I gotta go all the way back to Witch World to get more food. I don't believe this. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, and... Oh, 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 oh. Smash cut! Uh, there hey, there we go. <laughs> This goes up to pack attack 04082, but essentially when you give the last guy the, the food that he needs. Didn't we already feed this guy? Or does he need more than one food? We already fed that guy, but, you know, the other guy up there we need to feed too. But. Gotcha. Baron yes. Bird Friend. We saved the Oogle Boogle Tribe from extinction! These idiots that can't warm or feed themselves. I mean, there's a literal lava pit somewhere down there. D wait a minute. Did the cameraman just juke the fire? That's hilarious! Well, it's hot. I know, but that means there was a an entity behind the camera that could get hurt by the fire. So here's what I realized. I, I, I did an uh-oh. So, okay, well. Back here in the... <laughs> what do I do? So back here. What do I do? Oh! Oh, is this where another egg is? This, yeah, this is where an egg would be. Okay. But I already hatched it accidentally without realizing. Ow! I just, uh, uh, I just killed you! Let's see, where are we? But that's just in the back of the Yuga Booga tribe, I think. Oh, no, wait. Right oh, it's right, right, right where a warp is. No, it's fine, we got it. We figured it out. Yeah, we figured it out. Now let's try and get back on track. I hate this world. <laughs> you hate it so much, you just didn't want to record any of it. No. Screw it. Can we just not and say we did? <laughs> da down there is the other egg. Oh, in that little alcove? Yeah, you, you, it, it's it's on that thing. It was. It's obvious to see. It's okay. the easiest one to, to see. I'm just waiting for you to cut to black with a Microsoft Sam saying, and so we got 100% of Pterodactyl land. <laughs> <laughs> we just jettison out of here. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, what's back here? More goodies? Basically inside the mountain. I want to point out where Banjo is right now. He's right over there. Up top of this cave. Oh. Just because, or because well, uh, there's an egg up here. Ah. The 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 last of the four eggs are up there. Essentially, what we do is uh, turn into Kazooie. Uh, it's best if you save this egg for last. This egg here at the very top, save it for last. Trust me. You can get the other three, whatever order you want, but save this particular egg as the fourth one. The last one. Is it closest to the Jiggy? Whoa. Kind, kind of, yes, essentially. Okay. In, in, in a sense. The time saver. So you hatch him. But wouldn't you know it? Yikes. She's too fat. Another too fat to move kid. Really? You need to use the bag again! Oh, a grenade egg. No, no. Oh, that's a joke. <laughs> you gotta taxi pack her back. Jesus! Ugh. But this is why I say save this one for last, because Banjo's over- Banjo's already up here. Banjo's already over here. Not only that, where we need to take her is just right up that stairs. Also, it, it helps after you killed Terry Dactyl- or not killed, defeated Terry Dactyl to hit that switch to unlock that door. Ooh, UDJ with the time-saving strats, I like it. Gotta keep my sanity somehow. I don't, <laughs> have, I don't have very much of it, you see. Uh, I don't think we can change your name at this point. UIJ. Ultra Insane Jester. <laughs> Weege! <laughs> ah, Weege! Oh, here we are. Hello, yep. Terry. Yep, not so... Again. Saves a lot of time. Saves a lot of headache. And you're saving a lot of kids. Oh yeah. Here's your fat kid. But yes, the fourth one is... Well, As I dive in to say hello! The fourth egg is always gonna be the one you gotta bring back because you have to come back to the nest so that way Terry can give you the actual Jiggy. <sighs> and is that the last one? Yes, that, well, the, the... Well, not really. I think there's a couple things left. 
Yes! We did it! I, I left a lot here, you see. Oh, three left, my dude! I know. I know. Oh, it's getting there! We're getting there! I haven't done any of this, but we're getting there! <laughs> I think it's we. We're, we're kind of experiencing this together. That's true, and this is the first time I've ever seen this game. Let's just say I'm glad I stopped playing it when I did. Thank, thank you, Dreamcast, for uh, not letting me play all this. <laughs> Thanks, Sega. <laughs> you ruined a. Se did you actually own Banjo Tooie? I did, yes. Okay. Do you still own it? I do not. Oh, okay. Sold. Yes. Unfortunately. When I, like when I was like thirteen, so. No. Oh, okay. Well, I think we've all made mistakes like that, thinking, "Oh, these old games. Uh, I'll be able to get it Big again if I ever want it." This, oh, very nice. This is how we're supposed to find out about the whole uh, lake thing. Oh. So I'm just showing him off. Okay. Well, cool, enjoy your water. We gotta go down here anyway. Is that a hidden passage I see? Oh, what makes you say that? Oh! oh be, yeah, probably because we need at least one more jiggy in this world. It's a page! Oh, even better. And now we got enough for uh, the last Cheeto cheat. Which means I think that was the last page. Invincibility. Please. Instant credit warp. <laughs> After getting all the Cheeto pages, it's just, you know what, you deserve this. Go to the end of the game, please. Final boss? Pfft, who needs it? I mean, we are practically invincible every no point. Well, we just have to, like, stand there and suck our thumb. We're basically a first-person shooter protagonist now. <sighs> Alright. Ooh, I like that sigh. Let's see what's in here. It's the, we gotta get the last kid. Obviously. Oh, right. Right. So. What does this last kid need? We healed one kid uh -huh. with Mumbo there. We saved the other kid from Witchy World's dungeon. Mm-hmm. Now we gotta heal the other kid. How do we heal the other kid? We have to actually scoop up the goddamn kid. But why? But why, though? We gotta take her to Mumbo. He was just here! Oh, no, we gotta take him to a different Mumbo. What? Gotta take him to a different Mumbo! What? Different Mumbo! What different Mumbo? Not the Mumbo from Pterodactyl Land! What do you mean, not the Mumbo from Pterodactyl Land? Cuz... Are you going to another world? Not another world. What do you mean? You just gotta go take the train. No! No! This is stupid! You're telling me, dude. Why do you have to go to a different... Why? Eighth worst fucking... <laughs> uh. I mean, my god. You could have solved this by having Mumbo not say, oh, I'm bored now. And just be like, hey, how about you do your job? So we gotta go inside the wagon, I think. Oh, no, wait, I'm taking something else. Can you go inside, Chuffy? Oh, okay, good. What? Uh, hmm. uh, so you have to drop off the kid. Is that right, or...? Slight confusion. I, I see the thinking. Gears turning. Hamsters in Banjo's head have died long ago, but think, there's at least one think, gasp of breath. Think. Okay, I got it. Here's what we do. <laughs> Thought we had the <laughs> dumper there, but that's not the place. You, you think very carefully. Is it... Wow, okay. The contemplation of Banjo just abandoning a kid. Alright, I was right. It's Come in here. In here, drop off the kid. Find the train to blah blah blah. I thought that would be a bit more helpful. Thank you. So yeah. Drop the kid off here so we can hang here so we can go to other places. And then at least they're uh Nice enough to have a switch portal here. God, that's great. So we can just take Kazooie and have her go all the way to the train station. All the way to the train station. 
having an option saying, would you like to teleport Kazooie here would fix everything. And if you press no, then you just go as normal. But no, you need to explore. All right, back together again. So many decisions that could have been fixed. Whoa, that was weird. All right, now we're going to the Isle of Hags. Why? Because... I need it's a, what we need to do. I need a legit answer. It's what we need to do in order to get the Jiggy! What is wrong with the Mumbo here? He already was used! So? So we gotta get something- we got- we need- we need something else for him now. But, See that, that Mumbo pad there. But if we need- you've gotta be fucking with me. Yeah. This is adding, like, ten extra minutes of game for nothing. Aren't you glad you got your money's worth then? Yeah, I got it for five dollars in the Rare Replay collection. Actually, no. It was thirty when it came out, so I got it for a dollar. Ridiculous. Absolutely we ridiculous. We just passed Mumbo's skull for Isla Hags. And there's a globo up top of Hailfire Peaks. Oh my god. <laughs> How did you survive this blitz? See why it took so long to get footage? <laughs> See why I did it? I, I uh, went for a while to Jolly Roger, and then I did Pterodactyl Land, and then it was just radio silence for a while. <laughs> and then Grunty Industries, and then. I'll give you this you have not missed an update. No, I haven't. This entire time we've been doing the DK64 and the Kazooie and Tui, we have not missed an update. It was an anchor how I based my week. Oh, good lord. This is dumb. I hate this. Wait a minute, are Globos interchangeable? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I can take, like, if I had a collection of two, I could go to a level and use Mumbo twice. The only thing is, uh, Globos are specific to their world. Kind of like the small key thing in Zelda. <laughs> I needed to let out some frustration. That was, that was, that, that, that was for me. That one was for me. <laughs> I love Mumbo's... Stare of shock. Oh! Oh, what have you done? Hope this works. I thought he was about to say that it has to be out here in order to work. Now, come on, let's extend this timer another ten minutes, man. Well, uh, you, you see, that's 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 the thing, dude. Because now that we've healed the sticks, the the, the sick dinosaur. Now we gotta go back to Mumbo's hut, switch back to Baron Bird, go back to the train station, go back to Pterodactyl Land, go back inside the train, pick up the dinosaur, and go back ah. to the cave, and that's how we get the Diggy! Fuck! Oh, no wonder Pterodactyl Land sucks a big fat one. That's why it's 8 out of 8. You know, after they made the design of the, the little sub-islands that made the dick and balls, I'm just imagining, it's like, you know what, guys? I've got a great idea. What if we made this level fucking suck? Well, what's great, though, is that after we get rid of Pterodactyl Land, everything else will be just going up. It'll be nothing but positivity and upward momentum after that. Well, the thing is, we only have, like, what, two levels after this to 100% complete? Because we finished uh, Cuckoo Land. We finished Cuckoo Land, and uh, I believe we finished Hailfire. Did we? Did we? I think we did. I thought we did. Do we have to go consult a grieving wife? <laughs> How you killed him in a pool? Yeah, I think we're... I, th I think we're done with it. Huh. Well, that's okay. Yeah. I yeah, mean... It's, it's done. I guess I will survive. Cool! So yeah, that's two levels left. That's uh, Grunty Industries and... what else? I'm missing one. Did we finish the Aztec one? Oh yeah, we finished that first first go. So it's Grunty Industries, that's all that's left. Yes. Woo! 
we have, uh, I think this is the last Jiggy, and I think we have just one more Achievo to get. Which we can get here. Ah, uh, no, yes. We, we'll get that at Grunty Industries. You're almost done. The finish line, it's right there. I know, it's right there. <laughs> Go for it, man. Get I'm, the, I'm, I'm, get I'm, the I'm doing line. it, man. Unfortunately, everything we're doing here is going to make the, uh, the end game that much easier. Oh, because we have everything? Yeah. Uh. Okay, fortunately, they just give us the Jiggy, so there's that. <sighs> Worked really hard for you! Any chance of another Jiggy? <laughs> How is that fair enough? I'm glad you're extinct. Fuck me. Ah, uh, Grunty Industries. Yep, that's where we're heading next. I've, I've warmed up to this stage only because everything's open and now it's much easier to get around. Oh, but that those first parts, man. It was... They bad. It, it, it was a project, I'll tell you that. Oh my god. It's it, so bad. It was a project. I think if it had some, uh, some cleaner, tighter design overall, it'd be a lot better. Not having to go through the whole stage five times wasn't... wasn't good. Bigger does not mean better. No, it does not mean better at all. <laughs> Are you the alarm system? <laughs> it's help, crap, it's help. stupid, I hate it, I'm angry, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, the UDJ alarm is going off. Oh, not again, you, you I, thought must, I, had, I thought I had the thing turned off. You must be back at Grunty Industries. All right. So show me this, these last jiggies. Because apparently we have two left. Specifically, we have. Uh, oops. Hold up my thingy here. We have two jiggies left. Correct. Because we already got the gin. There, there was one Jinjo, but we already got that from uh, another world. Mm hmm. Uh, we. Yeah. Uh, the the two jiggies that we need to get are stuff that we needed. We needed to move from Hailfire and a move from uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land in order to do this. Ow. Owie. That still that still kind of hurts. Uh, I gotta do this right. Just good. Like. Oh, I noticed it's, you were trying to use the bag. Did we finally come to the conclusion that Banjo should always have a bag over his head? Yes. Preferably one that is stapled on. Well, then he won't have to worry about the paparazzi that'll show up when Banjo 3 finally comes out. Okay. Try again. Restart. Here we go. I can't remember how the song goes. <laughs> grunty, 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 grunty. <laughs> Yeah, so I just realized the the witchy sisters and Grunty are kind of a non-entity in this game. Yeah, sort of. Like, you see them busting through all the different levels and everything, and then they just kind of disappear until you decide, you know what, I'm gonna I'm fight the bad people. They're, they're not even too much of a villain at the end, either. So they are a plot device for the game. Basically to restore Grunty back to life. That's essentially it. Okay. All right. This is where you need to put a bag over your head. Yes, over my head, not under my head. There we go. I hate that it's so confusing. Bloop. It's just... It's just right there, easy. Okay, I'm okay with easy. <laughs> just give me the stuff, get me out of here. Next one's on the easy side, too. It's, it's just a matter of coming back with the correct power-up to do it. Well, there we go. We're done. Essentially. Yeah, we just gotta get that one more, and that is... That's it. That is it. You sound so excited. <sighs> I am, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm very <laughs> excited for this. Hey, not bad for an LP that started back in May. Wow. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Because that was when... Was that when Kazooie started or when Tui started? Kazooie. So, go back to May 2nd. Because that's when we started the the uh, duo episodes, because uh, DK64 came out May 1st, by your suggestion. And then add 14 more weeks. So probably about... Mm, August? Sounds about right. So for this one, we just kind of hop across. Oh, I love it. 
How on earth are we on... Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna ask questions. And then does... Kazooie get this? Or no, you can. Guess what? <laughs> we got all the jiggies! <laughs> 90 fucking jiggies! Yes! And we got a treat on the cinema selection screen! Alright. We what? can watch cutscenes? There is one final thing to do here in Grunty Industries, and to become a washing machine. So... Uh, I forget what it was specifically, but there is an achievement... Mm-hmm. ...for killing 20 enemies as Daddy T-Rex or with pants as a washer. I think there's one more, too. Oh. But here, uh, what I found is turn into a washer, Kill those two with the pants. Okay. And then go upstairs, then come you, back downstairs. You zip round over here. Avoid, avoid those. Go come through here, and then you here. kill this guy over here. There's your third. And in the time it takes for you to ah. go back down to the other two, they're already back. Do that for about ten minutes or so, and uh, you'll get the Chivo, as you'll see here. Momentarily. You said 20 enemies, right? Tw 20 enemies. But who knows how many enemies I've killed as Daddy T-Rex and with the pants already in my first playthrough. Okay. Anyway. So it does add up. Yes. Cool. I, w I was thinking it's like kill 20 enemies as Washer or Daddy T-Rex. I'm not sure if it's uh, cumulative, like, you know, it, it might be. Like, if I kill two as da as uh, Daddy T-Rex, mm -hmm. I, I can then kill 18 with pants. Come on, Chivo. Give, at least that's my guess. Eh? Give me that beautiful sound effect for when you unlock greatness. Ready for greatness? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm still... Little, little, uh, all right, almost, almost! <laughs> yeah, well, what's that old Xbox uh, adage? Uh, expect greatness and be disappointed? I think that's PS... That's the PlayStation. Oh, yeah, that's the PlayStation, yeah. Expect greatness, be greeted by sadness. Expect greatness, but don't play with anybody else. Be an elitist. <laughs> There, there we go. go. All, all beaten, beaten up. up. All we gotta do is beat the rest of the game then, and that's all the that's all the chivos. Oh my god. That's everything for the levels. Now let's uh, get everything else we need. Oh yeah. Hey, Jinjos. So let's check out them totals. Show me those beautiful numbers. Show Isle of Hags. <laughs> done and done. <laughs> Spiral Mountain. Done and done. Woo. Oh. I have Temple. Done and done. That's all completed. That's 100%ed. Yes. That's done. Yes. That's complete. <laughs> Fuck you. That's all. Ta <laughs> Fuck you. That's all taken care of. And yo. Yeah. All right. right. Oh, we need to go to Cheeto. Oh, we and we do. also need to get health. We do indeed. Get Cheeto, get health, and, uh, should we do Jiggy Wiggy, maybe? Nah, we'll do that next time. What left... Oh, I guess opening up the way to the final boss. Yeah. That makes sense. There are two more Jiggy Wiggy challenges. Ones that opens the, f the way to the final the final area, and one that opens the way to the final boss in that area. Okay. Now, uh, question. Answer. What is the minimum of Jiggies you need to get to the end of the game? Uh... Is it kind of one of those Mario 64 things where you only need, like, half... In order to get to the grand finale, I want to say like somewhere between sixty and seventy. Okay. My fifth cheat is jukebox. 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 So this means we can listen to the music of the game, hopefully. Okay. Or maybe we just turn into a jukebox. Neat. Well, that's all the pages. There's nothing left to give there, so... Alright. Through with that. Alright, let's go! Let's get some hype in here. Alright, hype! Bring it on! J! J! U! I can spell UDJ in here. Aw, it's adorable. K! E! I can, sp I can spell Niskel, too. 
B. They knew we were coming, man. They did. Years before the fact. <laughs> oh, oh, that counted. Cool. <laughs> it activates the jukebox at Jolly's. So music. So we gotta go to Jolly Rogers Lagoon for the sound test. I couldn't just give it to you here. Couldn't just, or even on the main menu. Or even on the, even here. Why is this a cheat? Just out of curiosity, why is this considered a cheat? You got you, you got all the pages. That means you can un, you can do all the sound test stuff. Hooray. Thank you for giving me all my pages. Here's a special perk. So I'm thinking it can't just be just sound test. It's oh, got to it be more totally than that. Is. It has to totally be. is. It is just the jukebox. Oh my god, kill me. <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> oh, I was just listening to music. Oh, no. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll play... I don't know. I, I kind of like the opening theme in uh, Maya Hem Temple. <sighs> guess I'll just play that for a while, I guess. That's neat. <laughs> you know what? Forgetting all the Cheeto pages, they should do what they did in DK64. Give you the 91st Jiggy. Yeah, really. 101%! Along with the jukebox. Alright, let's get the health back now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and, uh... Give, give the bee lady... Your, uh, your honeycombs. What do we have, like, nine honeycombs or something like that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, Nine. six, seven, eight, nine, ten health. Oh, ten health total. Ten okay. all together. Cool. Here you go. Right, you have enough honeycombs or one extra? See, I don't think I like turning in the honeycombs. I'd rather it just be automatically. That was that was what was nice about that Ninja would Kazooie. be nice. That would be nice. Because I feel like I have to go everywhere and do everything and mm -hmm. come here and do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of busy work and just just. <sighs> No more energy to give, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> then who's the true mistress of honey? Well, she, she was featured in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I was about to say, yeah, Queen Bee from Galaxy. Yes, yes. So, uh, going over here to Grunty Industries... Yeah, yeah. Probably wondering, where do we go next? Yeah, do anywhere but up? Well, it may be a little bit hard to see. It might might take some time to to, to really mm. figure out. Yeah, see those shoes over there that didn't pop in until we got to a certain area? Yeah. Ow. So take these. Make a bit of a dash over there. Yeah, we are going up. Holy crap. See those tracks on that on that pipe? Oh barely. Barely. And yes. a squint. I know. But I, but I think the tracks of the of the digger are supposed to give you the hint yeah, that you need. Yeah, be the indicator. And now here we are. That. Cauldron Keep. Wow. The final level. Wow. Oh, what's cool is we can just hit a switch here that uh, makes a pad appear so we can... Thank you, uh, yeah. thank you, thank you. So next time on Banjo-Tooie, we're going to be hitting into the end of the game. See you next time, and I hope you. What? What? Oh, wait! Uh, uh -huh. ah!